that okay. women are leaders. I mean, I sort of saw it as like, oh, it's interesting that the people in the school who are leaders are women, but I also hear it as they're the people in the school doing the work. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's changed over time. Like we lost a man who loved to complain, but <laughs> um, didn't necessarily step up in those areas, right? Like he loved to be like, oh, this needs to change, but I'm not doing any extra. Work. I'm out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so it, it's, it's, it's the pressure that society puts on women and the ability of men to be able to shut off and not even see when things are a mess, right? Um, and who gets the credit for all this, right? Like, it's still the men who are at the top as the founders who are like, oh, look at the school you created. No, they didn't create this, <laughs> you know? So like, so, um, so that has been discussed a lot over the past two years and, and huh. the pandemic has been a catalyst to, it's just, it, it's the pressure has just been more. Um, yeah. You know, what, what looks like freedom from the outside of being a, a, a teacher run school, um, it, it has been a lot of free labor um, yeah. because, and, and what really like opened that people's eyes to that was like, we're teacher run until it's no longer convenient. Um, when the biggest decision we could possibly make was like, who's going to follow up Simon when he leaves? Um, you know, the way he decided to announce it last year was at the end of a meeting at the last two minutes. Um, and he announced both that he was leaving and that Ayana was taking over two minutes, no chance to process, no space for feelings whatsoever, right? Because he's not comfortable with feelings, then no one else gets to be comfortable. If, you know what I mean? Like no one else gets the space that they need. Clearly not trauma-informed in any way. And I had already spoken. When I found out this was going to happen, I spoke to him. I said, this is not okay. You cannot do this to people. You cannot combine these, you know, announcements. You cannot... Um, this is not enough time for people to, to process. You're going to have a big la- backlash. And he okay. basically took it as like, Katrina is going to come after me and she's going to get her people after me. <laughs> um, as opposed to me warning him, I'm listening. Like I have my ear to the ground and I know what people are saying. And I'm telling you, this isn't going to go well. And it didn't go well. Were people upset about the process or about Ayana? It was, well, at that time it was both. Um, and for different reasons. So again, the biggest part was like, what you said is a teacher run school. How did you just make this decision? How is it that we're, we can make the tiny little, oh, do we want blue or do we want red paper? But like, when we talk about the things that really matter, all of a sudden we can't be a part of this decision. Well, didn't we communicate it to you? And when would that be, sir? There were some people here, bef- like who didn't, who came after Ayana. So you haven't brought this up literally since then. So how are they supposed to read your mind? Where is it written? Did you give them something to read? I know you didn't, but like, you know, and it's just that lack of like, I can see what I want to see and, and anything that's a blind spot is somebody else's problem. Um, right. and, and that is building, like it's, it's, there's a lot of people who are ready to leave. Um, yes. And are people feeling, um, oh God, this dog is driving me nuts. Um, he's like, wants to be in. And out of the and, and then to be out. So now he's like sitting outside. Are people, um, so like with Ayana, was it like, how are you feeling about her leadership and how the school's been under her leadership? Because, you know, if a lot of issues were gender and now you've got a woman in charge. Yeah. Well, and a lot of the issues that we had are actually still happening. Um, lack of communication. Um, you know, so she decided to leave a meeting early yesterday. I mean, I guess she had to be somewhere, but. I guess that meant she also was like, well, I'm going to leave for the least important part of the meeting. Then we, that was on Wednesday. Sorry. That's when we decided we're like, well, we're going to raise a vote to extend this time of, um, well, I was like, I have a proposal because I think yeah. somebody needed to make the proposal. It should have been her. It, it could have been her. It could have been at the other part of the meeting. Nobody said anything about proposing. Can we set a time limit to this time that we're like, it can't be just open ended that nobody feels comfortable with that. Like everybody keeps asking, the kids keep asking every day. So when, like, how long are we doing it? And and no one has even said, it, it doesn't matter. It, even if it's, okay, on Friday, we're going to reassess or on Wednesday, we're, like whatever. It doesn't matter what the day is. We just need a day. Yeah. So I said, I propose this particular day um, as the end of, you know, virtual learning on the Wednesday before we will reassess to see if that day needs to be extended. Perfect. 
I think that's reasonable. And it was two weeks. It was two weeks from this past Wednesday. So not next week, but the week after. So then the next morning she comes in. How are you, Katrina? And I'm like, I'm quite anxious, actually. <laughs> but that's not what she came for. So that one, that was over fast. She's like, I would appreciate if you're going to have a vote that I know about it ahead of time. And I'm like, it had nothing to do with me. I don't know why you're bringing that to me. <laughs> like, You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, this is a power play. Why are you coming to me to say that? Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to come back at you. You should have done this. Why would you not have come up with that? Why would that not be your number one thing? You didn't see the need for that. And like, I feel like that's exactly the kind of thing that, that Simon also wouldn't have seen. The only difference is if I had said it to Simon, he would have been like, go ahead, do it. Cause you're doing the work. <laughs> you, know, basically. you know, so now it's like, oh, now I have a power play. Cause it's a woman coming against a woman. Um, and I'm like, it's not a power play. I'm just thinking well about the school. I'm sorry that you don't have to, (laughs) you know, I hear here. You know what? This is a piece that I think will answer your question too, which is a few years ago, maybe it was, we just, we realized a few of us realized the reason why we're struggling with leadership is we have always needed somebody to be the lead advisor. We need somebody who treats us as their advisory and they are, you know, and they are, they are an advisor for us. That's the role that we need. And no one has ever played that. And what is that, what would that person do? Like deal with, right. like, I mean, so what does it look like for me in the classroom that the relationship I have with my students should be that. So I'm guiding, but I'm not telling, right. I have to be open to feedback and open to change. I have to be responsive um, to the needs of the people around me. I have to be thinking a step ahead and a lot on my feet to be like, mm. you know, when, when Xavier says, can I lead a circle? Like, you know, actually that would be a really great leadership opportunity for him and give him an outlet for his intense energy um, and chattiness. Um, you know, like I have to be thinking about like, you know, instead of this, like, oh, they're trying to take over. Xavier wants to have more power in the classroom. How can I hold him down? You know, like, right. or chain of command, chain of command, you know, which is pretty much the, the rest of the district. Um, I have to be thinking about each individual's like path and like their movement forward regardless of how far apart they are. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's what, what it means to be a solid um, uh, advisor for an advisor. I mean, I actually think I can do the job. <laughs> I'm not technically qualified because I don't have, but I do think I think about, um, I think I can think about the big picture and I think I can think about the individuals and what they need and I can listen, right? Um and I, and I don't think we've had a person who can do both of those things at the mm-hmm. same time. Mm-hmm. And it's probably going to be somebody who was an advisor. And yet we haven't had anybody do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and there's interesting things about that, right? So like, um, I'm, I'm way more polished now than I was a few years ago. Um, but, you know, it's not like Simon went to the whole staff and said, here's the deal. I'm, I'm thinking about retiring in a few years. Is anybody interested in becoming a principal? I'd like to work with you and develop you. He didn't do that. He went to one person, the one person that he thought could be. And, and that said, was Ayana. You want to be? No, she wasn't there. Um, it was Helen. And she said, I'm not interested in being a principal. And that was it. Huh. Had he gone to someone else, someone else might have said, you know what? I'm clearly not ready, but with this kind of development, I could have, I could be there, you know? Um, I mean, I was, I sure, for sure was not ready years ago like but you could be now I think it could be now mm-hmm. and if somebody sat down and been a mentor and said like okay here are the things you need to work on here are the you know here are your strengths here are the places you need to work on but I mean this is coming from a man who literally has never given a real observation in his life mm-hmm. he gives fake observations mm-hmm. so <laughs> you know um yeah, yeah so anyway the, the staff was really upset about the fact that we had no say Um, and I mean, people who generally are like, oh, I can support, but like, that's not how it should have gone down. And then there was a number of people who are actually really concerned about, um, about a big question. I mean, I heard a lot of people as, as BR, um, does she actually support this model? Is it going to change overnight? Like, we don't know. Um, and the thing is, I actually think she does support the model, but it was not clear. And I don't think I became clear until December of this year <laughs> or yeah. uh, this school year. Um, it, is she about to turn punitive? Are we about to start getting written up? Because that is the energy that she brought in is like, you do what I say, or like, you're going to feel it. At this point, I am not aware of anybody.